What happens in a hierarchy is it shuts down creativity. If you run an organization by rules and processes, and I'm not against rules and processes, but if you run it by that, what you do is you shut down innovation, you shut down creativity, and you shut down the sense of ownership people have. It's the old General Motors model, if you will, that led them into bankruptcy. Uh, there's a theory out there that we have decision rules, we delegate authority, everyone knows that they're accountable for. And some people misunderstand empowerment. I think empowerment inherently implies accountability. And good leaders in empowerment model are practicing closed loop management. They're back with people all the time, following up. And people feel a deep sense of accountability. In fact, they feel more accountability than they do under a hierarchical model. And, uh, and this is widely misunderstood. And, and so I think it's, it's important that that accountability take place at all levels, including first-line employees who are actually doing the work, whether it's a clerk checking in at the hotel or whether it's a salesperson or whether it's an engineer on the front lines. Those should be the empowered people that feel fully accountable and willing to step up and be accounted. And they want to be accountable, but they don't want to have to fight through layers of bureaucracy. They don't want to follow rule books. They want to do what they know is right for their customers. They know is right for the business. They know is right to uh, promulgate creativity. So I think there are a lot of myths about the hierarchical model and why it works well, when in point of fact it doesn't. And people are not going to be working in these models. You're not going to get the most talented people these days to do that, nor will you develop leaders. And so you wonder why an organization actually grinds to a halt. We saw it in a great organization like Pfizer uh, before Jeff Kindler took over. It was much more of a hierarchical model and they kept acquiring, acquiring, and spending $7 billion a year in R&D and turning out nothing. Because the organization, you took out the creativity, you took out the originality, you took out the, the, if you will, the enthusiasm people had for the business. And that's what keeps organizations sustaining their growth. The hardest thing large organizations have to do is keeping the innovative spirit. And that innovative spirit, that ability to be creative, to come up with an idea that better serves the customer, only comes from a, a model in which I feel empowered to do that. I'm not following somebody else's rule book, but I can do that. So I think this hierarchical model should die out very quickly because the corporation they're practicing are, in fact, dying out. That's what happened to the old Sears Roebuck. That's what happened to a lot of these hierarchical companies. And they're going to find out they can't keep up in today's world of empowerment, innovation, and creativity.